Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a grocery haul and meal plan. So if you want to see what I picked up this week and what we're going to be eating for the week ahead, then keep watching. So, as I went with Tesco before Christmas over on Instagram, I am required to say as per the CMA guidelines, I have worked with them in the past. However, obviously this isn't an ad and it has been bought with our own money. Um, and yeah, obviously it's a Tesco grocery haul. Um, back to business um, and trying to get organised and like mix up our diet a little bit because I um, don't know about you, I'm pretty sure it's probably the same for you, but you know after Christmas you just feel a bit like, ugh. Um, and I'm craving different kinds of things and like a bit of freshness going on and stuff like that. So um, pick this up. It isn't actually a she's shop. It was under £100 because I'm trying to use things in that we already have as well, like just be a bit more sensible and empty anything out from before Christmas that might have been in the cupboards or the freezer and things like that and just get them gone so we can like, you know, make good use of them because even though freezers are great everything has a shelf life eventually so um i'm going to show you everything that we picked up and then i will run through the meal plan at the end of this video okay so we're going to start over here with fruit and veg this is a bit of a smaller shop purely because we still have a few bits and bobs in because we're kind of off like out of kilter with routine a little bit from christmas but um i just kind of got what we needed and what i knew we'd use so we've got carrots mashed type of potatoes broccoli three onions a big bulb of garlic that's huge um some avocados they were on offer so i bought them loose coriander celery a huge quantity of blueberries because stan is absolutely obsessed with them um actually I'm going to mention that. So in previous videos, I've touched on how like all three of mine at some point, similar age to where Stan was at, have gone through a fussy eating period, um, which can be really frustrating. I think I found it probably harder with Bill than I did with the other two because I had hindsight with the other two um, that I knew it would get better. But again, Stan has gone from really having a very, very clear opinion on things that he will eat and what he won't eat and he didn't use to like blueberries he would only really eat like tomato not tomato <laughs> strawberries bananas apples and oranges like nothing else was really a fan of um, and then more recently he's just completely flipped and like now he's eaten so much stuff that he didn't used to um, and i just wanted to express that like patience is key and just roll with it and like they will improve they will get better um got some mango a lot of things i will buy like loose and prep myself as you can see mango is not one of them because every time i buy a mango i absolutely hate prepping it and i feel like i hardly get any fruit off it so um yeah i just bought this and my favorite combo is a huge tupperware tub of fresh mango fresh pineapple and passion fruit all mixed together ice cold out the fridge at night instead of snacking on crap and it is just my go-to another thing you can add that's really nice to this combo is kiwi um baby plum tomatoes and then as you can see at the back passion fruit pineapple bananas and lemons and that is all the fresh stuff because we do have apples um limes and a few bananas that are left that i think i might make a banana bread with um i've got some caramel drizzle just to add to breakfast stuff i think i might make some more pancake bites in like my muffin trays like i've done before and they can have um pancake bites with caramel drizzle and sliced bananas like as a banoffee style um Rice sticks, the co fresh range, I always talk about this. They are fantastic. If you're ever going to buy anything that's kind of like um, an Indian style like cuisine, look for these because they're so much more authentic and they're, they're in the frozen section, like the world food section, and they're amazing. These are rice sticks and they look like maggots. I, I am aware of that, but they are so tasty and so moorish. So whenever we get like, we've got like a curry on the menu. I always pick these as like a nibble before um, we have it. Um, lamb stock pots for the hot pot that I'm doing. Just raw pastry because I want to try those custard 
um, and chocolate chip twists, you know, to mimic the ones that you can get in places like Costa. Um, cheese things for doing cheese and crackers for lunch boxes, roasted red peppers. Heinz have brought out their own tomatoes and they were on offer, so I thought I'd give them a go and see if they're actually any good. And they've also brought out pasta, and these are kind of like staples that I like to have in, and I've been running low. Um, tomato ketchup, steak mince, um, oh dear, to do uh, burritos with Brunswick ham. I've not got loads because I've still got some left. I've got tuna as well for pat lunches. Um, the mozzarella cheese mix to do homemade pizzas with. Pitters, chocolate filled crepes, two packs of tortilla wraps, one mostly for lunches and also for burritos, and then the other one more for burritos, depending on how many the kids will want to eat. Um, New York sesame bagels and a toasty, and then over here. We have some go-go squeezes. I got some mini Danish pastry selection, just as something different to try for the kids. It's like a weekend breakfast. Um, some mochi, just the Tesco's own one. And that was inspired by um, Little Moon's sweet and salty popcorn. They're 75 calories each. They're so nice. I've only had one so far because I feel like that's all I need. I have that with like a big bowl of fruit at night. Um, they're really nice and I thought I'd get some like fruity ones. Um, I think these are on offer in Morrison's at the moment, so get them from there if um, you can, Chris, you'll save some money. And then what else have we got? Uh, Pepperamis Froobes, they were both on offer. Yo-yos were on offer. I got two packs of Cheetos just to mix it up a little bit. My kids all love the Flaming Hot and I thought I'd get cheese for balance. And then we got some Dove. I got a bottle of this as part of like a little gift set over Christmas and really liked the scent. I couldn't find the exact one that I had, um, which was coconut milk and jasmine, but this is blue chamomile and oat milk and I thought that sounded quite nice. So they're just so soft and creamy. I liked that on my skin a lot. Um, orange lemon and pineapple squash and Alpro coconut barista. This is the fresh fizz and that's why it's a little bit smaller. I love pork scratchings, they're so nice, so that's why I have them. Uh, Starbucks, uh, vanilla pods are on offer at the moment, so I picked two up while they were cheaper. Some pedal bin liners, new roll because we go through it like nobody's business. Um, I work with uh, Nikki uh, Snowman over Christmas, you know the printed ones. I always get them from Aldi every year, and then they got in touch with me and asked if I would like to work with them. Um, before Christmas time and I was made up so we got like a little stock of snowman and snow dog toilet paper which we've been using for like the last month and we finally run out and um, so now it's back to the boring old Tesco stuff but it was I was so chuffed it was such a fun little collab to do over on Instagram as well then I got two packs of Diet Coke because this was on offer um, tea for like £6 I think it was and then two smoothies um, because the kids have been preferring these over apple juice at the moment and that is everything while I'm filming this we have guys in that are building up our loft so we have a loft and it's somewhat accessible but the hatch to go up to get into it was kind of built in the wrong place so when you take the like cover off you can actually see a structural board going halfway across it so it's really really difficult to get into for both of us um, and Mark's always wanted it properly boarded so we could use it for storage to keep things that are more pressure safe like in, in storage you know like some things that maybe like, because garages kind of, they give, like, spiders and cobwebs and slightly damp feeling, don't they, garages? They don't always feel, like, quite so clean, or at least ours doesn't anyway. And we do keep quite organised in there. So he wanted, like, to utilise that space better. Plus, it's getting insulated, and he was saying that in five years it'll have paid itself back and then some and it'll keep like our house cooler during the summer warmer during the winter and I was like okay babe <laughs> we'll, we'll get the loft boarded I just feel really really awkward yeah I keep being like really paranoid that it's they're gonna open that door and come in and I'm gonna be like yeah and then so I got some bananas and this and that and the other like talk about looking like a knob anyway meal plan runs from Thursday to Wednesday, it's Thursday today, so today I'm going to, oh shit I need to do this actually, I need to get the bread maker down in a bit um, and make some pizza dough in that because, um, one sec, so I have some of this Mutti pizza sauce, the classical one, it is amazing by the way if you ever make homemade pizzas and I opened it to do like pinwheels with, um, with a view to 
I'll use the rest of it up and do homemade pizzas. And Mark normally cooks on a Thursday. He will often go into the office on a Thursday and then I'll come back and he'll make me dinner and I will feed the kids earlier on because of clubs and stuff like that. Um, so I have this left over and it's not the cheapest thing in the world. It's definitely worth the money though. Um, and I thought, right, I'll save it in the fridge because I only used it uh, not yesterday, the day before, so I'm getting distracted by them soaring. Um, so we're going to make homemade pizzas later, but I do need to make the dough in the bread maker. As for what we're having, Mark likes to look on his lunch breaks for a recipe that he wants to do, and then he gets the bits on the walk home from the station. Um, so it's always a surprise. But Friday, we are... Um, hopefully going to visit my grandparents who I have left that open off obviously we've got bits and bobs in that we can use like frozen things and this that and the other Mark's hinted that he quite like to get takeaway on Friday but the only thing is is that I'm in a really like healthy mindset at the moment like um I've been going to the gym since before Christmas anyway like October time and um, and I don't really want to like overindulge in stuff but I, I know I can make like better choices so we'll probably do that and the kids will usually eat at my grandparents because they can't wait that long like by the time we eat later on it's like eight half eight to be quite honest with you then Saturday Mark's at the footy um and we've got leftover curry from New Year's Eve that we froze when we did like a get together for my dad's birthday um, and we've got curry left in there that we're going to take out and defrost and have with rice we've got none left in the freezer I've got some frozen lamb coftas that I made that we could have as a starter if we felt like we needed them and then I've also got like these little sauce sets have you seen them let me get them these from Aldi and I thought I would do that for the kids so it has a little spice pot on top and then it has the sauce in the bottom and normally what I do to a korma is that I'll add like some cream to it and um, just to give it more of like a creamy authentic well I say authentic loosely like you know like more similar to what you get at the takeaway so I'm going to do that for the kids we've got plenty of number plenty of rice and the kids love a curry um so that will go down really nicely and it'll just be me and them um on saturday which i'm quite like i'm quite cool with it's quite nice to get back into the routine of like day-to-day -day life don't get me wrong like i really cherish the holidays and stuff and it was so needed um but sometimes it's quite nice to have like um mix it up a little bit and like do different things I don't know what I'm going to do with them on Saturday morning I know we've got like Mark will take Stan to the football I'll take Daisy to netball and I'll do a workout while she's there and um, Bill will have dippers and he goes to that with his dad and then um we'll congregate back Mark will go and then I will just chill with the kids get stuff done I think one thing that I might do is potentially prep dinner for Sunday so Sunday can be way more chill for me um and I asked Mark what he fancied and we're gonna have a Lancashire hot pot because I had a few ideas and I put them to him and I knew he'd choose that because he's obviously from Preston and that's like quite a popular dish from where he's from so that's what we're gonna have the only downside is is that Tesco didn't bring the lamb neck that I ordered so I'm gonna have to go and get that from elsewhere I might go and nip and see if they've got something like that in Aldi possibly tomorrow um, and see what I can get. Uh, Tuesday we are going to do something quick and easy for the kids so basically our whole situation has changed again um, whereby like Daisy's moved up with swimming classes so I have to go to the leisure centre twice in one night now with a gap in between but that gap in between is just enough time for me to feed them and do the pet lunches before I leave out the door again and it's manic and I have to say this Tuesday by the time I actually sat down I was wiped <laughs> um, and then we're going to have shat sugar which is something that I can probably prep another day like earlier or like earlier that day the day before put it in the fridge the sauce but it's like a smoky tomato sauce with like I'll probably put some peppers onions garlic chili powder a bit of paprika um, and then you poach the eggs in that and then I normally top it with a bit of like feta and um, coriander and we're going to have that with pita bread um, just because it's something that we really like but the kids don't quite appreciate it in the same way so it's sort of a more of an adult dish in our house and then on Wednesday I'm going to do a lemon chicken like noodle soup with um, little star pasta 
um, like what you'd get in pastina. Um, so I'm going to use that and do like really wholesome with like celery, carrots, um, garlic. I probably need to get some parsley, but I will get that like closer to the time because it's right at the end of like the next week. Um, and I'm going to get one of the Aldi spatchcock chickens I think and roast that earlier on in the day and then I'll pull the meat off and mix that meat through because their spatchcock chickens or their like whole roast chickens are about a quid or so one pound fifty cheaper than other supermarkets so I figured I'd just grab one from there especially because I didn't know if I bought one now if it would still be in date for Wednesday next week um but that is everything and in terms of like packed lunches, I'm going to do cheese and crackers one day, um, like a mini like lunchable type thing. We've got ham, I've got some tuna in and sweet corn, so I might do a tuna mayo. Um, I've got wraps that I can use um, and then other like easy meals. We've got some cream of tomato soup in. I can always do like tomato soup with cheese tasties. That could be a good one to have on cheese day in between swimming lessons because it's quick, but the kids really, really enjoy that. And um, it's really cheap and easy too. Um, and yeah, hopefully you found that useful and I hope you're having a fab week so far. I feel like we're just easing back into it, but it's been quite a busy week with like other appointments and this going on. Um, but hopefully I'll feel more in the zone too and I hope that you do too and I'll see you all very soon.